The math of the stock market is actually really simple. Calculating profit and loss on a trade, it's, it's easy. Peter Lynch, former fund manager at Fidelity Investments said, everyone has the brain power to follow the stock market. If you made it through fifth grade math, you can do it. And he's right, it's pretty simple. So let's go over that. Caterpillar is currently trading at about $75 per share in April 2016. If you buy 100 shares at $75 per share, the cost of the trade is going to be $7,500 for the stock plus the commission, which is usually around $10 uh, per trade if you do the trade online. Um, some places a little more, a little less, but that's basically about the cost these days. Now, if your stock goes up $2 per share, you made $200. That's 100 shares times $2 per share. It's $200 before commissions. If your stock falls by $3 per share, you'd lose $300. That's 100 shares times $3 per share. So what you can do easily is look back and see how volatile your stock is. How much does it move over the last few days, few weeks, few months? And that'll let you know how much you're risking and where you should uh, put your stop loss and get out if you're wrong. So you can easily determine your potential profit and loss before you ever enter a trade in the stock market. That's the right way to do it, and that's how I teach how to do it in my courses. Now, you can buy stock in any increment of one whole share. So if you want to buy one share, you can do that. You want to buy 9 or 10 or 15 or 22 shares, you can do that. Okay, what you can't do is buy any fraction of a share, like one and a quarter shares or one and a half shares. So any whole share you can you can buy. Now, no matter what, commissions are going to be around $10 at most places, like I said. If you use their automated system, it's typically around $30 or $40. If you actually talk to someone on the phone, a broker, uh, at one of these places, it's going to cost you $40, $50, $60, $60 bucks, depending on the place. Penny stocks may even cost you more. So make sure you understand what the brokerage cost is whenever you place a trade. Um, it's not too much if you know how to do it online. In a separate video, I'll teach you how to place uh, orders, market orders and limit orders and so forth. But uh, just be familiar with how your broker does it. Um, I worked at Fidelity Investments once when someone uh, called up to complain that they had a huge fee for trading penny stocks. So they, they traded like $200 worth of a penny stock and the cost to sell it was like 60 bucks. <laughs> they were not happy about that because they weren't familiar with the commissions for penny stocks. So just be real familiar with how your brokerage does it. Okay. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below and ask it. And I'll be happy to answer it for you. All right, this is Greg Kiltback. I hope you learned something new. And you can learn more about my courses by going to markettiminguniversity.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.